Father Sean Sukiel has been preaching in Breezy Point since he was ordained about three years ago. He says that his parishioners aren't afraid to give him feedback on his homilies. They're very encouraging, they're very honest too. You know, they'll say, a little too long, or, <laughs> you know, uh, they'll say different things, and um, I, I do take what they say and, and really try to graft into my homilies. The parishioners also didn't hesitate to publicly commend Father Sukiel on his exceptional preaching. When the diocesan newspaper, The Tablet, asked readers to recognize their favorite homilists, they repeatedly wrote about Father Sukiel. He prepares to preach all week, following a general outline for beginning, middle, and end. And I usually begin a homily with a story, a personal story, because that's something that the people can relate to. Stories about family life, stories about the community, about sports, um, things that they can relate to to capture their attention. And then the meat of the homily would be about what's the gospel about, and then really focusing in and really telling people that they're loved by God, that in the midst of their struggles, their busy life, that God still loves them and, and thinks of them often, and mm -hmm. that he gives them so many beautiful blessings in their life, the Eucharist, the sacraments. Mm -hmm. And then I end with the Eucharist as we enter into the, the liturgy of the Eucharist you know, as a source of some of the Christian life. Pope Francis has repeatedly emphasized the importance of good homilies. Speaking last week, he said that homilies shouldn't be boring and that priests should speak from their heart. Father Sukiel agrees. Be real with your people. Mm -hmm. You know, offer something that you can offer them. Mm -hmm. Don't pretend, <laughs> you know, um, be who you are, mm -hmm. because that's who God created you to be. Mm -hmm. And God placed you into that community for that reason, mm -hmm. to be there for that people. Um, the Holy Father talks about a homily as uh, a divine encounter. And it's that divine encounter where it's really that's God is speaking to them. Mm -hmm. So we really have to sort of when it comes time to giving that homily, to really put ourselves aside and, and let God work through us. Mm -hmm. I think it's also important for people to see the joy of the priest preaching as well, having mm -hmm. fun with the homily. Because um, mm -hmm. that, that really communicates something to the people too, because the people in the pews can say, he's really enjoying what he's doing. Mm -hmm. And that is also very attractive and appealing. Mm -hmm. And people can see that and say, I want to listen more. Writing into the tablet, one of his parishioners said that Father Sukiel's homilies are always inspirational. Father Sukiel says that their words are very humbling. Reporting for Currents from Breezy Point, I'm Katie Breidenbaugh.